turnovers, but and have come with great intensity in this ball game that didn't matter to them in the standings. Hey, Pilaro setting up underneath. That fell in with another catch. Closing in on his third 100-yard game of the year. Just a short pickup of four this time, but our first good look at Zach Pilaro, so we've heard some good things about him. The Argos really a concerted effort this year to start developing young quarterbacks and Harris and Kalaros all year. The understudies to Ricky Ray and Jarius Jackson. Forty. And with very limited reps, as Kalaros mentioned yesterday, a full season of mental reps. Takes a shot here, flag down, and passes intercepted. But a penalty marker on the play. We'll find out if this stands. Yeah, well, and that marker is back in the defensive secondary. Markeith Knowlton brought it down, but will it stand for the Ticats? Now, it, it, I thought it the flag was thrown while the ball was in the air, but not. For pass interference, Hamilton number 25. The first down at the point of the foul. It was to the target, and the ball was in the air. Now, what about the the contact? There's Markeith Knowlton, number 25, who's extended himself out to, to cover the receiver down the field. Now, a pull on the jersey, turns Barnes inside, and that's the call. So first down, Argos at the 50. Here comes pressure. He steps up and skips across midfield, close to a first down. Again, a good running quarterback, and he... Is close to another first down. You know, I, and this takes a, a, a interception off the board and, and some yardage. I just want to see this. This contact looks like it happens pretty early, and whether or not that should be illegal contact or pass interference. I'm not sure the ball's in the air yet because he lets go. I would question that may have been illegal contact, which is a 10-yard penalty. But either way, the, the interception off the board. Second and two. Ball carrying Riggs. was dead and Gerald Riggs with that carry of 15 yards goes over 100 for the first time in his CFL career you know and the Argos have found a, a solid backup for Chad Cackard I, I love the move he makes in the backfield again you know he doesn't like what he sees so bounce back against the flow everything's jammed up at the point of attack what a cut we've seen it twice now a cut but the acceleration and momentum still moving forward 39 56 and 13 yards in his first three starts. 110 in the race. You know, this this Hamilton defense has played better against the run over the last couple of weeks. Fast in the last three games, they've been averaging rush yards allowed, 4.3 yards per carry. So Casey Crehan thought he had it figured out and that their defense was better with Markeith Knowlton in there at linebacker. But again, in a crucial point of this football game, they're giving up rush yards they can't afford to give up. Only the sixth time this year, the Argos have been over 100 yards rushing as a team. Four and one so far. And hitting that mark, Pilaros over the middle, and he's got another strike. And all the way down to about the 12-yard line, Dontrell Inman's got a 100-yard game. And Zach Kalaros is yeah. getting some attention. Oh, I like that throw. I like that throw. Watch the timing. Watch Kalaros right here. Uh, just his his poise. Bang, one, two, quick slant, right on him. Perfect throw through a small window. And the confidence builds for this young quarterback. Big night for Dontrell Inman. Trying to secure his spot on the playoff roster. Big for Riggs. Sammy Triggs. And Triggs has a touchdown. Ran the right road and gets to the end zone. And Zach Kalaros has his first touchdown pass in the Canadian Football League. Zach Kalaros with a nice throw on the run as he rolls to his left and has the perfect fundamentals to get it out there. Play action, one, two, three, step, turns the left shoulder. Aims that at the target. Franks makes up for the mistake he made earlier that we showed you when he went a little too deep on a run that was incomplete. Zach Kalaros looked pretty good on that drive. Good save, 
Well, the kid just engineered a nine-play, 100-yard drive. In just under four and a half minutes, the extra point is good. And now the Tiger Cats season hangs in the balance. <laughs> well, an impressive drive engineered by Zach Kalaros and Sammy Tranks caps it with the touchdown. That was a nice drive by Zach Kalaros and this Cincinnati product looking good. Maybe climbing up the depth chart for next year as we speak. Just under 11 minutes to go. And it's an 11 point deficit for the team that needs a win to stay alive. And a fly down as Andrea Jones is buried just short of the 25 yard line. Again, George Cortez and Henry Burris have to wait to find out where they'll scrimmage pending a penalty. Holding Hamilton number 45. Half the distance to the goal. First down. And this time it's Nathan Kenya. Zach Kolaris is technically the fourth string quarterback for the Toronto Argonauts. And he just went four for five, over 100 yards, 56 passing in that four for five, 100 yard drive. Finished with the major to Sammy Tranks right here. And that's going to be a tough pill to swallow if the Hamilton Tiger Cats can't come back and win this game. Have to start around their five-yard line in the end zone. Burris drops it off for Williams. And Williams is pulled down by Pat Watkins at the seven. Think of this, Chris. I mean, this is a four-string quarterback. It's a four-point game. You've got an excellent field position advantage. Hamilton defense has got to be kicking themselves right now on that bench going that was our opportunity now they may still there's lots of time left but tough pill to swallow when the four teamers moving it down like that against your defense in a game you've got to have of course it all started with a turnover by the offense and that one almost turned over Matt Black a shot on the football intended for Andrea Jones and that was nearly turnover number five well, it looks like Burris is now starting to press it a little bit. Eh? You see Black in the middle of your screen right here. And he does not get him out of there any way, shape, or form, and it's all just a matter of dropping it. 11-point deficit. Do you give up two for field position, or does Josh Bartell boot it away? Sends it downfield and tranks. The Hamilton 48-yard line no, no, no. down in a hurry, but terrific field position, just a 40-yard punt by Bartell. Football Hall of Fame, it's Damon Allen, bobblehead night here. He is <laughs> one of the marquee attractions going into the Hall of Fame. Damon, number two all-time in passing, number three in rushing, and a well-deserved Hall of Fame. Here's Dontrell Inman, wide open again. There was a holding call against Toronto on the last punt, but they get that yardage back at a little bit more here. Kalaros has got a first down at the tie cat 40. And Kalaros saw what Hamilton did defensively because Jeff Tisdale, you see him in the corner, he left Dontrell Inman to come down on a blitz. So uh, Kalaros saw that, went to the wide receiver uncovered, made the good read whether he was the intended target or not. Seven catches, 130 on the night for Dottrell Inman. Back inside Riggs and nothing doing. Terrence Moore with some authority pulls him down back at the 45. Well, they got to start playing this way, and, and that's a little bit, little bit desperate now. The Argos with, again, a lot of backups in their own line. They, they don't take Terrence Moore over the middle. They kind of pull away from him, and he shoots the gap. Rookie out of Nebraska who has made an impact in just four games with the Tiger Cats. So second and 15, and maybe out of field goal range. Thanks to that play, they'll try to get back in it. And Tricks is dropped at the 35-yard line, short of the first down, but 
within range of Swayze Waters. And now we're getting into that desperation time of the game for Hamilton where they might have to start thinking about three down football on the remainder of their series. I mean, Swayze Waters makes this. Can you punt again? With your season in the balance? You may not. I was a little surprised he didn't give up two before. Now a chance for the Argos to go up by 14 on this field goal attempt, and Waters does bring it in. And it is a two-touchdown lead for the Argonauts halfway through the fourth quarter. You by Gibson's 100th Great Cup commemorative whiskey. Available now in limited supply at local liquor stores. Argos have put 40 on the board. And now the urgency just ramps up even more for the Thai Cats. Two touchdowns what, wait. in arrears as they start at their own 35 yard line. And pressure on Burris steps up, gets it away. And a crosser complete to Dave Stallop up near midfield. You know, what, what is Henry Burris thinking? I know that he's been part of the issue here with a couple of turnovers. One fumble that was stripped in that Jordan Younger interception for a touchdown. But again, over 300 yards passing. You know, he's he's going to, if they can get this drive into the end zone, they're still a possession behind, but they're over 30 points. This is going to be a quarterback that is one of five in the league's history to have 40 touchdowns on a season and not make the playoffs. They don't come back down two possessions. A I, team that could lead the league in offense this year. You mentioned yeah. what Henry Burris has done. Best pass efficiency rating in the league. It's It's unheard of that. All those numbers don't add up to a postseason berth. Third time this year that the Ticats have surrendered 40 points or more. Twice to the Argos. I think most Hamilton fans have known all year that the offseason is going to be about no. fixing their defense. But I think when you put 5,000 yards on the board passing as a quarterback, you, you should be in the playoffs. When you have a receiver that's got 16 touchdowns, you should be in the playoffs. <laughs> they have seven minutes to keep their hopes alive for the playoffs. It is a first down, and the official stopped as the chain gang had second down on the on the chain. Burris again gets the look out rusher, and a catch made by Coburn, brought down by Tristan Black in that middle linebacker now, and Coburn a pickup of eight. Good first down production there. Now get in and out. You know, if the clock is running here. Simone Charbonneau Campo in for the injured Stalin. Second and short, and the crosser to Williams, who has to just secure the football. Can't get up and run, but has a first down at the 45. Now, you know, this Hamilton team, now that they got to see the urgency, get out there and get lined up. Like, Shaguer's got to get back and get lined up, get the play. Look at the offensive line. Come on now, get moving. Get up there on the line of scrimmage like you believe you can come back. Henry Burris now needs a player because he got equipment issue from Chris Williams to give him a chance to call a play because he'll stop the clock because of the equipment. But, you know, th this is their season ticking away here. And the last guy you're right now you want an equipment issue with is Chris Williams. Exactly. Aaron Kelly checks in for him. Kelly has a touchdown catch in this game. First down. Here comes the heat. Burris gets it away. And the catch is made. And that's the youngster. Sherman Campo. Fourth catch of the season for him. And now... Andrea Jones, Kelly, Jaguar, Mantuz in the receiving court. Second and short, Burris looks for Kelly. And they'll look at third down. And three. Do you take three points here with 520 left? 
Or do you keep the offense on the field? Yeah, I, you know, desperate time calls for desperate measures. I think in any other game, you kick a field goal and you hang in there. But right now, you, you're three yards away. You got to get a major. And it's, it's not over if you don't make it. But yeah, exactly. It would be well advised to convert here. Third and three. Oh, and out of his stance comes Mark Dial. And now it'll be third and eight. And Burrow showed his frustration. Procedure. Hamilton number 63. Five yard penalty with the third down. I'm not sure what to tell you. It's it's just a team with their 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 chances here for the postseason hanging in the balance and not playing with really any mental or physical intensity. They absolutely have to. And now Billy runs over O'Neal. There'll be a body drop here. And is this going to give the tie cats a freebie? Flags flying all over the place and well, the animosity you expect when the Argos play the Thai Cats. Well, there's two flags down now, and and one is on Mark Dial for his hit after Belly's hit. Now, I didn't see a flag when Belly stepped across the line, and I understand Mark Dial trying to protect his teammate, but and come to his teammate's side, but. And Billy to the sidelines. Billy thought he saw the ball move, so he stepped through his and, and ran over Tim O'Neill. 